Hi there. In this video I'm going to show something about using subtitles in DVD Styler. I made this video because some users apparently have problems using subtitles, so perhaps this might turn out helpful. I'm using uh, DVD Styler version 2.4.1 and I'm running on a Windows Vista system. I have started DVD Styler here, started a new project. OK, that. I don't want any templates. I have some files here I'm going to use. I have my video file and now I started it. I don't want them. I have my video file here. I've got various text based uh, subtitles I'm going to use. Uh, I guess the most common error I've seen people having is if you have your subtitles here, be sure when you save it to select the coding as UGF-8, otherwise it won't work. I skip that. One thing about the SRT format is it very limited in formatting your subtitles. One thing it can do is uh, use a color format, uh, which I have used here. I'll come back to that later on. The other format would be uh, the advanced substation alpha format and the uh, substation alpha format. They are also both text-based and is more rich with respect to formatting subtitles and so on. But I'll start by dragging my video onto DVD Styler. I'll double-click on it to show its property. And you can see I have already mooked in a subtitle in the DVD sub format. And here's the point I always forget. If I don't want those to be smeared all over, I need to use a palette, so I better remember this. So this would be my... Uh, I just OK that. Go to the property of the button, and uh, I want this button to use track 1, which was my uh, DVD sub format. I OK that. Now in order to bring in the other subtitles, I merely drag them down here like this. And when I now see the property, you'll notice these subtitles are now included. I want to uh, make some buttons for those. Here I could select track 2, which would be my SRT subtitles. I could paste another. And I'll use track 3, which would be my advanced substation alpha. Paste it once more, which would be track 4, using my substation alpha subtitles. Oh. So now I have my menus. I can choose between the various uh, subtitles I have been using and one thing more, I want to drag in a, a version of my video with the hard-coded subtitles. I'll come back to that later on, but now I'm ready to make my DVD. Or rather, first time around, I'll just make an ISO image in order to test it. So I start this one.
and now it's finished creating the ISO image and I'm ready to test it. The ISO image is here and before I test it perhaps I should mention the subtitles used has absolutely nothing to do with the videos in it so here I have my menu I created and let's start by having a look at the DVD subs I have mooked in. I mute off the sound but uh, I made those yellows in order to distinguish those from the others and let's return to our menu. Now I'll use the SRT and you'll see the SRTs are here and if I let that play a bit you notice I actually put a, in a different color in the SRT however this is not carried on onto DVD styler and when I use the advanced substation alpha uh, subtitles which has even more formatting you'll notice those formatting is not carried uh, with them into DVD stylus so don't waste your time on doing a lot of formatting on those subtitles it won't show up anyway and personally I don't use subtitles very much in DVD styler I prefer when I need subtitles to do them hard coded and I'll show you why I think those are much nicer looking than the ones I get in DVD styler so but anyway perhaps this could be helpful for some so bye from now